Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about generating atomic states and term symbols from the microstates of a multi-electron free ion. In a previous video, we discussed how to generate the microstates for a free multi-electron ion. Now it is time to see how we can determine the atomic states and term symbols for these microstates. Let's review some of the terms from last time that will be helpful here as well. The first is microstate, which for us will be a specific valence electron configuration for our multivalent free ion. So one electron could be spin up in dz squared and one spin down in dx squared minus y squared. We can calculate the number of microstates that we will have for a specific electron count in a spherical ion. The number of microstates will be dependent on the number of spaces. For d orbitals, this will be 10 spaces. J in this case is going to be the number of electrons. So for 10 spaces and two electrons, we will build 45 different microstates, which is two electrons in five d orbitals. Next are atomic states, with states, which are a collection of microstates with the same energy. Going back to Boltzmann entropy indicates that more states give a more stable system. The term symbol is a shorthand way to describe the electron configuration in the molecular orbital diagram. We need to come up with a term symbol for the free ion before we impose octahedral symmetry. And so there will be two components, spin multiplicity where s is going to be the number of unpaired electrons, and l describes the total orbital angular momentum. Last time we created this fabulous table which incorporated all 45 microstates associated with the d2 free ion. If we have five d orbitals, we have ml values from minus two to plus two. As an example, you will recall that we can put two electrons in the ml plus two orbital, one spin up and one spin down. In shorthand, we write this as two with a plus and two with a minus to indicate that both electrons are in the ml plus two orbital and the plus means that the electron is spin up and the minus indicates that one electron is spin down. The microstate then goes in the box with coordinates ml is plus 4 and ms is 0. Capital ML is the sum of the little values, uh, ml values, and capital ms is the sum of the little ms values. Now that we have the 45 microstates, it's now a process of generating the atomic states. We need to filter them into atomic states, and the atomic term symbol is defined by ml and ms. The term symbol is defined by capital S and capital L. Capital L is the total orbital angular momentum of the atomic state and is given by ML for that collection of microstates. The maximum value for ML here is going to be four in this case, as there is only one microstate here with an MS value of zero. For this atomic state, the only possible MS value is zero. Using the table shown earlier, we find that the term symbol for this atomic state is singlet G because if S is equal to zero, then two S plus one is one, and G because G is the letter used to refer to the case when L is equal to four. Now we need to determine which microstates represent atomic state singlet G. If L is equal to four, then ML will range from plus L to minus L. So this is going to be minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two, plus three, and plus four, giving nine different ML values in this singlet G atomic state. For MS values, we have a similar concept as the values run from plus S to minus S, but this is trivial as so we only have zero for MS in this atomic state. So now we remove one microstate from each of the blocks in the middle row, as those will be defined by the singlet G atomic state. Now there is more regular shape to the microstates after we removed the nine from the singlet G. Our maximum LL ML value now is plus three. Now we need to determine which microstates represent the atomic state triplet F. If L is equal to three, then ML will range from plus L to minus L which is going to be minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two, and plus three, giving seven different ML values in this triplet F atomic state. For MS values, we have a similar concept as the values run from plus S to minus S, which in this case is minus one, zero, and plus one. 
As a result, we will have one microstate from every box that is populated now, which will be part of the triplet F atomic state. This means that we have 21 microstates described by the triplet F atomic term symbol. Now, what will be our next term symbol? First, look at the table and find the maximum ML value remaining, which is plus 2. Then we check our available MS values, and for our ML values, all we have is plus or minus 0. So we will have a singlet D atomic state. Now we need to determine which microstates represent the atomic state singlet D. If L is equal to 2, then ML will range from plus L to minus L, which is going to be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, giving five different ML values in this singlet D atomic state. For MS values, we have a similar concept as the values run from plus S to minus S, but this is trivial, like the singlet G earlier, as we only have 0 for MS in this atomic state. As a result, the singlet D atomic state has five different microstates, only from the middle row where MS is equal to zero. As a result, the singlet D atomic state has five different microstates, only from the middle row where MS is equal to zero. Now, what will be our next term symbol? First, look at the table and find the maximum ML value remaining, which is plus one, meaning P. Then we check our available MS values, for our ML values, we have all available to us from minus 1 to plus 1. So we will have a triplet P atomic state. Now we need to determine which microstates represent the atomic state triplet P. If L is equal to 1, then ML will range from plus L to minus L, which is going to be minus 1, 0, and plus 1. This will give three different ML values in this triplet P atomic state. For the MS values, we have a similar concept as the values run from plus S to minus S, which in this case is minus 1, 0, and plus 1. As a result, we will have nine different microstates in the triplet P atomic state. As a result, the triplet P atomic state contains nine different microstates, one from each of the boxes still populated. This leaves one lonely microstate that will be its own atomic value. It has its own ML value of 0 and MS of 0, making it a singlet S atomic state. The distribution of microstates that make up each atomic term symbol are summarized here. Nine singlet G microstates, 21 triplet F microstates, five singlet D microstates, nine triplet P microstates, and one singlet S microstate. Let's check comprehension. 